What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another mail time video and I couldn't be more excited for all of these beautiful letters that you guys have sent to me. Let's kind of get started here. So the first one, you don't have a name quite yet, but it's from Laurel. MS, I think, is Mississippi. You guys, I'm Canadian. So sorry if I got these states wrong or anything like that, but I'm doing my best. Uh, so let's see. It's a really beautiful jumbo size card that says a cheery hello. Yes. What does this say? You got beautiful writing, by the way. Hi, Grace. I've been following slash watching you for a while now, and I really enjoy your channel and your take on the show's content. Lately, I've been unable to watch TV, and your reviews are how I keep current. Ooh, I'm so happy to hear that. You are simply amazing, and you rock. My name is Jean Viev. That is such a beautiful name. That reminds me of one of these girls. I used to know um, in a small town I grew up in. Her name was Jean Viev as well. And I'm a writer. Wow, with this beautiful handwriting, you better be. Blogger and mother of one. I work in the mental health field with postgraduate degrees. Come through, Jean Viev. And um, licensures. It is easy to get stuck in viewing situations one way. Your refreshing commentary frequently reminds me to consider other points of view. Thank you for doing what you do, and I look forward to watching. Many blessings. Sincerely, Jean Viev. That is so sweet of you. Thank you. And the pre printed message on the center says Hope every little thought this brings adds sunshine to your days and brightens every hour in the very next nicest ways. Ah, this is beautiful. Thank you uh, so much. And congratulations on your work and your education. I am such, 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 such an advocate for women's education. It really is the ticket to freedom. And I'm so glad to see how well you're doing in your own career, not only for yourself, but for your daughter as well. Like it's incredible. And the next piece we have is a postcard of a nice groovy little bus here with a surfboard on top from Boston, Massachusetts. And it says, hi Grace, love your videos. You are so entertaining. Your smile is infectious. You think so? If you ever come to New England, check out this restaurant. You won't be disappointed. And I'm Oh, the restaurant is called Friendly Toast, which is definitely now going to be added to my list. Um, what are some restaurants in your area that you suggest? XO, all the best. Danny from Massachusetts. Okay, so Friendly Toes, I think it's so cute that you went to a restaurant that you love and got me a postcard from there. Like, that is adorable. Um, in, I live in Ottawa. So in Ottawa, I have a couple of restaurants depending on what district of the city I want to be in. So if I want to go to the Byward Market, which is like our most famous neighborhood, it's like a huge tourist attraction if you ever come here. I love going to Mezzanote. It's a nice um, Italian restaurant and I always eat the same thing, which is Pollo alla Mezzanote. Incredible. And the bread they have there, I try to stay away from bread, but man, the bread and then that vinaigrette they have, like you'll never find it anywhere else. You have, have, have to try it. And then if I want to go to Little Italy, I am typically at 268, not really for the food, but for the ambiance. Like they've got like this 90s hip hop music. Like it's very, I love hole in the wall restaurants. It's very small. It's like got this nice dim lighting and everything. And I love charcuterie boards. So that's what I typically have there. If I wanna go to Elgin Street, um, I, which is more of like a young professionals kind of hangout spot. I love to go to Charlotte. Again, that's not really for the food, but it's for like all the little charcuterie boards as well and the ambiance like those are my recommendations so a little something for each district of Ottawa for you to check out next up is a little something from Anea over in Wenatch T W A what is what is W A is that Wisconsin no that would be W C Washington this must be Washington it's a nice card proudly made in the United States yes girl come through it's a thank you card Ooh, I should be sending you a thank you card Dear Grace, wow, you guys all have such beautiful writing. Like, what the heck are you guys doing? Studying calligraphy? Jesus. Dear Grace, thank you for sharing your thoughts and opinions. And she put that in quotes because that's how I love to end my videos. Um, I enjoy every single video. You are hilarious. Stay strong through your life adventures. You're beautiful inside and out. Anaya. Oh my God, from Wenatchee, WA, which I am assuming is Washington. But then she says, shout out to the Pacific Northwest. Now, here's where you guys find out I'm a little bit touched when it comes to geography. Does Washington count as Pacific Northwest? I'm sorry, 
I should know this. Thank you, thank you so much for this beautiful thank you card, and yet it is so thoughtful, and I think you left your um, return address in the top right corner, so I'm gonna be sending you your very own thank you card as well. And last but certainly not least is a little letter coming all the way from the United Kingdom. I think, no, this definitely is or at least I think, my first piece of mail from the UK. So thank you. Congratulations to you guys on the birth of your newest little royal, Archie Harrison, which is too damn cute. So in here is a beautiful card. Another thank you card, thank you. Bon côté, good, good side in French. And a nice little hummingbird on it. And on the inside, it says, Grace. Hi, my name is Nuria, and I've been a subscriber for quite a long time now, two plus years. I can't believe I've been making videos for that long, oh my God. I'm really sorry about your loss. Thank you so much. Thank you, that means so much. So sweet. I discovered your channel when I first moved to the UK. I barely had any friends and my English was quite crappy and finding your channel was a big change. I felt that I had a friend to talk about my favorite TV. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. My favorite TV shows and I just oh, want to thank you for all you've done for me. By the way, I'm sending you a Welsh love spoon to remind you how much you do, how much good you do for the world. Thanks again uh, from Nuria. Oh my God, that is so sweet, Nuria. Like seriously, you're learning English through watching my videos. That is so crazy. I learned English as well when I moved to Canada from watching movies. This was a long time ago that I moved to Canada. It was like in the 90s. And I learned English through watching movies and television. So it's so cool that someone does it through watching my YouTube videos. And I'm currently wa uh, learning French through watching French vloggers. So I am with you on this struggle of language learning. Like it is not easy at all. And you know, this, this letter that you wrote, your English is fantastic. Your calligraphy skills are off the wall. And um, you should be so, 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 over the moon proud of yourself. Um, so what is a love spoon? I'm excited to find out. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put this on my keychain. This is so beautiful, thank you. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna search the history of love spoons as well because I have never heard of such a thing, but I just know it's probably incredibly, incredibly special and just, know that it is going to be on my keychain and I'm going to be carrying it around every single day, 100%. If we ever bump into each other, you'll find it on me. So thank you, thank you so much, Nuria. It is amazing to get to be your friend for over two years now, um, sharing our thoughts and opinions on our favorite television shows. Well, you guys, that wraps up this week's episode of Mail Time. And as always, I couldn't be any happier to get to hear from you. A lot of people have been saying that I've been glowing in my videos, seeming so happy, but honestly, the number one reason is because I get to talk to you guys, you know, and like, when I get handwritten letters and pieces of mail from you guys, it is just, there are no words for the happiness that this brings. Just getting to share um, things that I'm passionate about with people who are also passionate about them is like the best thing in the world. And you guys are the sunshine to, you know, every day for me. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching my videos, commenting on my videos, and for sending me mail as well. I really can't wait to see you in my next video. That's all for now, and I'll see you next time.